Yo, yo, guys. HMY, and welcome back to Plotter Watch. The show where it is now time to get back into Marilyn's story, this time with the spin off series, Claudia's Future. And this is the first episode of that at home with Claudia. Hello there, Claudia here. Welcome to my show, and future. It's 2065, following directly on from the Tomeskip in episode 54 of my mom's show. She's still with us, and will serve a supporting role in the series. This paves the way for my daughter and I to serve main roles. That's enough talk. On with the show, Claudia's Future. Episode 1, At Home with Claudia. About two minutes later. Is everything okay? Mom, this is all very mysterious. Actually, my darling Kamikans. I needed to talk to you about something. What is it about? Your father called me this morning. He wants to see you. He's had eight years to arrange a meeting with me. Why is he just reaching out now? I know you haven't had a good relationship with him since he and I got our divorce, but he still wants to know his daughter. Tough. I'm not going out to meet him without a reason. All right, sweetheart. Calm down. I know you're feeling hurt by him ignoring you for eight years and I don't blame you. You stay here with us and we'll look after you. Thanks, Mom. Kimmy, you're 14. You're old enough yep. to make your own decisions about stuff like that, and I support you 100%. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too, Mom. I have the life I'm happy with. You, me and Grandma. Oh, Kimmy, I am so proud of you. My very mature 14-year-old daughter. I am really proud to be part of such a loving family. You remind me of me when I was your age. 20 years ago. Were you a respectful teenager <laughs> yeah. too? I was, most of the time. Your grandmother on the other hand, at your age she was bratty and naughty. That was 47 years ago. I never knew that. However, that was then. This is now. It is. You're right. Hang on. As a teenager, weren't you using Grandpa Goodwin's time machine to travel back in time to see Grandma Goodwin as a teenager? I did that quite a bit. She was Marilyn Defoe growing up. To make sure time kept flowing the way it is for our entire lives. What if you hadn't taken those time trips? Then time would still have gone the way it has. It kinda it always goes done, this actually. way no matter what the situation. However if either she hadn't pushed those boys into the girls bathroom, or had still done that, and I'd gone back and intervened in her first arrest then her life would have gone differently. On neither timeline then, would she have met your grandfather, and neither of us would have been born. Meaning no time machine, and no time travel could happen in the first place, as you would never have <laughs> existed to travel back in time. Exactly. I'm glad both the bathroom pushing and time travel without intervention happened, as those events led to this perfect life in the first place. And that is it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be another one soon. Until then, thanks for watching.